Good afternoon and thank you for tuning in to another Pineapple Bytes video. In this training session we're going to review how to create a new employee in Aloha Manager by copying in an existing one. So first thing you're going to want to do is open up your Aloha Manager. Once you're logged in you're going to go to Maintenance, Labor, Employees. This will bring you to your employee maintenance. You can hit the drop down at the top here to see a full list of all the employees that are currently programmed in your Aloha database. The easiest thing when creating a new employee is to find an employee that is using the same setup of the one that you're looking to create. So in this particular instance, we want to create another employee that's going to be a server and have a server job code. Not going to have access to the back office, only going to be access to the front of host terminals and as a server job code. So we know, for instance, Homer Simpson in our database. If we click on the job codes tab, you can see here they're set up as a server with the access level of a server. So we're looking to set somebody up new that's going to have the exact same access as this person. So what you can do is simply on the right hand side here, you can hit copy. It's automatically going to default to the next available number. If you want to put in a custom number, you can go ahead and delete that number and type in a new number you're looking to use, or you can just go ahead and hit OK. Now we have the new number, 225, and it literally copies every single setting. So now all you have to do is go in and adjust these fields. So last name, we could go in and put Flynn, and put in a new first name. We also want a new nickname for this person. You can edit the birth date if you wish. Then you're going to want to go into job codes. You can adjust their current rate of pay if you have to, if this particular person gets paid more or less than the person that you copied. You're also going to need to adjust the effective date. So we'll go ahead and hit here, hit your drop down. And usually when I'm creating a new employee, I'll just always pick today's date. And then we're going to go ahead and hit save. If your system has available real-time updates, you can go ahead and hit yes on this. And those are the instructions on how you can create a new employee in Aloha Manager by simply using the copy feature instead of creating one from scratch. Hopefully this video was informational for you and hopefully it helps you along your way. Thank you very much. Have a great day.